drove on a winding logging road to Little Espana Inlet. My dad pulled down to a tidal stream and mentioned to us that we were going to start paddling to Nunchalitz Provincial Park. It was a fun way to start our trip. The river carried us down to the calm waters below. Halfway down Espana Inlet, we stopped for a break. We had only paddled for an hour. We passed Otter Island and began crossing Esperanza Inlet. reached Nunchalitz Provincial Park when we found the sandy beach on Rosa Island. I'm cooking supper. We are going to have canned carrots and peas, spaghetti and meat sauce, the meat I dehydrated at home, and underneath that thing down there we are having some biscuits, which I think are going to look pretty delicious. It's really good, and I haven't ate yet, sure. but I'm really hungry. Today, right now, we're going to go for a hike to the other side of the island to see what's there. saw this kind of thing in my book at home. I don't quite remember what it is, but some sort of animal snail-ish thing makes it. I think it's called a moon snail. decided to name the local mink Freddy. Today is day two, Monday, supper time, and we are having some chili and canned corn, which is nothing exciting, but it's what the girls wanted, and some wonderful Epicure cornbread, which my husband baked on the backcountry oven. Didn't even burn it. After supper, the rain stopped and we went for a trip around Wayash Island.
The weather was improving and most of the rain had passed, so we headed out to explore Nunchalit's Inlet. and then I cracked it open with rocks so that you can see there's the meat there and now I'm gonna feed it to the sea anemone a bunch of sea caves. One of them had a waterfall. has an amazing beach. waterfall on the north side of the point. We stopped at an islet with a beautiful sandy beach and small sea caves. supper. It is Tuesday. It is our third supper out here I believe. Mm. And we're having canned peas and biscuits. We're having the nochi with alfredo sauce and chicken in there. We are camping.
camping on Wyish Island Nunchalitz Provincial Park. This is where we leave our boats for night and we tie them up and flip them over so that they don't blow away and won't get wet on the inside. It was wet for the first couple days so we had to set up some parts. This is the girls tent and then our tent. better weather than the day before, so we started exploring the large tide pool that was right next to camp. and the open Pacific Ocean. We went around the outside of Jewish Island and into Gillam Channel. Once we reached Flower Islet on the outside of Rosa Island, we headed for the inner channels of Nunchalitz. toast for supper and enjoyed a relaxing evening. Right now we are in Nenchalance Provincial Park and we are going to try to do a beach cleanup. So some reasons why a beach cleanup is important is because stuff like this we've been watching sea otters all along this cove and seals and if this gets tricks around their neck it will strangle them whales we saw a whale the other day and some species of whales swim around with their mouth open to correct to collect krill and small fish and stuff like that and when there's garbage in the ocean they get that collected in them too there was a whale that was found in the ocean and it had died because it had, I think like 10 tons of garbage in its digestive system. 
Plastics can also break down into microplastics. Whales can mistake them for plankton and it works itself up the food chain because the fish eat it and then sharks and tuna and whatnot eat it and then we eat the fish and they've actually found microplastics in our honey and it's really bad because even if you think it disappears or something it just breaks down into smaller and smarter smaller particles and then it just works its way back up to us there is no good alternative besides trying to recycle and use less plastics, especially single-use plastic. Every second, there is a dump truck load of garbage that enters the ocean. 15% of garbage is on beaches and shores. Another 15% is in riverways. The rest, 70% of it, is sunk at the bottom because it can't all float. So a lot of it is at the bottom of the ocean, which is even harder to clean up. On our first day, we went sightseeing and we found a ton of garbage on this beach. Even though it looks pristine and clean, if you start digging around and looking, you'll find a lot of garbage and we'll probably fill this bay. The garbage has blown up way into the trees. We're squishing the bottles so that we can get more into the bag. And our bag's almost full. And we're at the beginning of the beach. possibly more with all of the garbage that's here we didn't really we didn't get all of this and there's still quite a bit of beach left to go and yeah. it wasn't the biggest beach that we've seen it's quite sad Lunch, the weather was amazing, so we decided to go exploring the outer reefs. We came across a large group of sea otters.
five. And for supper today, I made a cheese sauce with some, with a spaghetti. And we had some burger that we rehydrated and mixed in. Then we're having some mixed vegetables from a can. And our cornbread, because it's kind of our favorite. And that is supper for our last meal. We woke up on day six to an amazing morning sky. We had an early start to reach the bridge at Little Esponia Inlet at high tide. the bag of garbage we had picked up on the beach on top of his kayak. was an amazing place to visit and I would definitely love to go back. <laughs>